Welcome to the first heat of the, uh, the 2011 Culinary Championships, Edmonton Region. Robbie, what do you have in that dish right now? Right now I have shallots, garlic, sun-dried tomatoes, roasted red peppers, and artichokes. And that's just kind of like a base of your dish? Yeah, it's uh, stuffing for the chicken. And uh, yeah, everything here has been marinated or brined. So I'm trying to reduce the salt content in all of our dishes too. Just tell us a little bit what you're preparing there for your, your dish here. Um, this is a polenta, so it's like cornmeal cooked in chicken stock, water with some shallots, garlic for flavor. All right. Uh, some parm cheese, finish it off. That's going to be an accompaniment for your dish? Oh uh, yeah, it's the sides, my uh, brown sugar glazed pork tenderloin. What are you going to do with this, uh, with, this, with this dish now? Right now I'm going to season it with salt and pepper, pan sear it, and then throw it in the oven for about 10 minutes. So these are actually a uh, green peppercorn potato pancake. Uh -huh. So what they're going to do is they're actually going to kind of go with the sauce to kind of complete the dish. So you'll get the taste of the peppercorn, you'll get the, the demi-glace type thing, and they, they all come together. That's kind of the theme of my ingredients. So after uh, a very intense heat one, we are uh, about to start heat two here in the 2011 Culinary Olympics here at Earl's 170th Street. A la cuisine! Woo! What do you have there, JJ? Uh, right now, these are just uh, wild boar tenderloins that I'm just cleaning and then butterflying and putting in the marinade for later when we cook them off. Okay, and uh, what is in your marinade there? It looks very interesting. Uh, it's a combination of fresh herbs of tarragon, rosemary, cilantro, basil, and thyme. I just want you to bring us up to speed a little bit on where you're at so far. Uh, so we have our breading done. We're starting on the sauce, and our risotto is about to get started. So risotto is a pretty challenging uh, Dish. Do you think you're going to be able to execute that under the time constraints? Uh, I think so. I hope so. Jacob, I just want you to bring us up to speed on where you're at here so far with the prep. You feel good about everything so far? Yeah, like we're just kind of keeping it calm. We just don't want to rush around, make sure we got everything in uh, on the get-go, you know? So just making sure we got everything handled. So, yeah. What do you think is going to be the most challenging stage of, uh, of your day? Um, probably our rice pilaf. Um, it's kind of the first time we're doing it, so... I've heard like some horror stories about rice we left before, so. Uh, JJ, how do you feel about everything uh, at a time where everybody else has their protein going? Uh, you're still trimming and tying yours. Uh, you feel like the pressure right now? Uh, I'm feeling the pressure, but it should be done in time, so. What, what's the cook time on, uh, on Wild Boar? Uh, to get it to where I want it, which is about 120 after the sear, it's probably going to take 10 minutes. 10 minutes. You know that there's uh, only seven left. Okay, well, <laughs> back to crunch time here.
So here we are in heat three of the very, very exciting uh, Culinary Olympics. Ah, Working busy, you're going very hard here, working really fast. What are you doing right now? I'm just about to start some braised chard. Gonna get it going here right away. And, we're gonna... and where is the where is the chard from? Chard is gonna be from a farm just a little bit out of Leduc. It's called Greens, Eggs and Ham. Corey, you are feverishly working away over here. What are you working on right now? Uh, right now we're just getting our beef tenderloin wrapped up in our applewood smoked bacon. We're getting our potato cakes chilling. And then we're gonna get everything in the oven and start putting everything together. Okay, so what are you guys doing right here? Uh, right now I'm working on my asparagus, which is going in with my sweet chili mango salad. Um, basically. And where did you, where, did, is this a local supplier? What is the local ingredient that you'll be using? The indigenous ingredient I'm using is actually honey from Tofield, Alberta. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the 2011 edition of the bar version of the culinary bar and culinary bar competition. My name is Daryl and I'm uh, preparing the berry white. I'm making a strawberry sensation. I'm preparing the bean me up. Tyler Kick from Earl Sherwood Park and basically I'm making, it's called a tropical kick. I'm making the Downward Dog, it's a healthy cocktail packed with antioxidants. I'm bringing rhubarb and custard so it's a sort of like a sweet sour combination. I'm uh, Brayden from uh, Crossroads and I'm going to be doing a uh, twist on the gin fizz. I am making a twist on Manhattan which is the cocktail so I'm kind of doing a peanut butter and jam Manhattan is the idea. Yeah so this drink is actually called the Orange Bomb, that's B-A-L-M.
All right, so there you have it, folks. We have had done just a, the preliminary round for both the bar and culinary competition. What uh, my two co-hosts have in their, uh, in their uh, nice, beautiful suit pockets are the two finalists, sorry, the three finalists for the bar and the three finalists for the culinary. And Trav, what do you think? Is it something that uh, you expected? I think it's going to be a good battle this evening, Michael. Fantastic. And uh, Colin, how about the culinary? What are you looking at? I am so excited to see these three teams tonight. It's going to be incredible. There you have it. So get ready for a party tonight. We're going to rock and roll and have a good time and watch these people battle it out for domination in Earl's Edmonton.